Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with some of the new Dilusions magazine collage sheets and creating a quick page for a 100 day project. So I'm starting off in my junk journal for my 100 days project. So you can sort of see here all the bits and pieces. And I'm starting on a page that already had some paint on it. So um, quite often when I've got excess paint, I will just go in and paint some of the pages on my in my books and um, the paints that I actually have on these pages are I got down to the end of some tubes of paint and I just chopped them open and then painted in about four different journals to try and use up the rest of the paint uh, if you ever think that you've run out of paint open them up because you will be surprised by how much paint is in there um, it goes an awful long way so I'm just starting off these are the Dilusions collage sheets from Ranger Ink. And I've started off with some of the strips of um, paper, um, pattern paper that you've got in the back. And I'm creating a really quick, simple border. Now, if you didn't have these, use washi tape or chop up bit, interesting bits out of magazines. You just want some sort of frame. This image is also one that's taken out of the um, collage sheets directly so for those of you who sort of don't know Di Reevely, um, she is one of the signature designers for Ranger Inc. Um, a lot of these images have been taken straight out of her artwork so they're actually her artwork that have been reproduced that you can sort of chop up and change and alter and, and stick into your journals. So this is kind of a complete image already. Um, I if you're interested more in magazine collage, I have certainly got lots of videos of that on my YouTube channel that you can just search Neve Bailey magazine collage or look at my collage fundamentals um, playlist and you'll get lots of ideas of how you can do exactly the same sort of thing with magazine images. So one of the big things that I do with all my magazine collages and whether it's you know, these pre-printed ones or not, I still go over them with extra paint pens and add extra lines and so on. Now you will see on the prints anyway where dye has also done that in different colours. The reason I go over it is one, it makes it brighter, you can actually see the line work a bit more. Two, I can sort of change the colours to colours that, you know, I like and use. And three, it's you adding your own personality to it as well so you know yes it's fantastic that you've got dyes artwork in your book um, but it's nice to have your hand in your book as well so um, it just helps you be part of the artwork as well instead of sort of sticking on plonking someone else's artwork in not that there's anything wrong with that at all um, I just enjoy adding the extra bits and pieces. So, you know, those flower things were blank in the center. I've just added in some turquoise. I haven't done much. I've just added in some, you know, circles and lines to it, but it's just added something else to the page. I have found when I um, am doing magazine collages, I tend to work in the same color palette. I don't know why I do that. I think it's just the colors I have always picked up the closest to me so the ones I tend to use and that is using my turquoise my pink and my white and black Posca paint pens so I have all of those pens in both the thin barrel which this one is and the thicker barrel and I use sort of a combination of both to create my pages um, I just like it I, I, I honestly cannot explain why I choose those those colors but you know that that's how it is when I'm doing it you can sort of see me adding the colors here there and everywhere the coloring in her nail outlining and so on one of the things that I will also do with all my images is um, outline them all with either black or white pen and you can see I actually did that with the border as well I used a white pen on the border just so it stood out a little bit and um, gave that finished edge so now you can see me going in with my black paint pen and I'm outlining everything on the page and again it seems like a little bit overkill and you don't have to do it but um, you can sort of see it better in the finished piece but even on here you can sort of see it just really outlines and darkens up those edges so you will notice on the page that it's done because this is also something that Di does she outlines everything in black pen 
um, but it just helps finish it off and it helps the collage kind of well, you could say blend into the background but it's really not blending it in it's actually making it stand out a little bit more um, so you've sort of got that little bit of depth to it one of the things that you'll find with any pre-printed ephemera that you get is it's really hard to print a, a true black particularly on matte paper which this is so um, by adding your own black over the top it's automatically going to give you that true black on the page and um, for those of you who have been playing around doing this sort of thing for a while know the value of having um, adding a, a true black and white onto your page because you just get that automatic contrast to what you're doing. So you can see me just fiddling around adding in dots and dashes. Now you can be as creative as you want with this or you can follow along with the lines that are already on the page. That's a brilliant thing about having something like this because it really is, it's kind of like training wheels. Um, it's magazine collage that you don't have to think about all that much because you can follow along with what's happened or you can, you know, go out of your, your way and um, really add your own mark to it. With magazine collage, and I do apologise for it being slightly out of... Uh, focus while I stick my head in the frame. I often do quite large quotes. I usually try to do a large quote and then have a room to do some individual writing. Um, I didn't leave myself much room for the writing underneath. My personal preference when I'm doing stuff like this is to write with paint pen straight away which some people find a little bit terrifying and yes I do know I didn't put a comma in that. I will go back and fix that up. Uh, the reason for that is I tend to work exclusively with acrylics so that my acrylic background is completely sealed. When I write over the top with paint pen, which is again is acrylic paint, if I make a mistake I can just use a wet wipe and wipe it away. I find if I use pencil um, I dent or, uh, the page and I can never rub it out properly um, so I really struggle with that. Uh, Sometimes instead of using paint pen, I will use a water soluble pencil because I find that, you know, if I can rub it away with a wet wipe, I get a better finish on my page. Um, for those of you who like using pencil, well, go for it. You do you. Um, whatever works for you. But what I do is I roughly write it out. You can see I just write out a very thin pen first. Then I went back with a thicker pen to widen up the letters. And you can see with the competition there at the bottom, I'd written it quite thin, but I actually used the space that I had around that mirror to um, extend my letters. So that's a great thing about it. Once you've sort of got your spacing worked out, you can then um, extend your letters into the space that you've got. You sort of know what you've got to play with, which I find really, really helpful. The other thing I always do when I've done lettering is to outline it or give it a shadow, which again helps pop it out from the background, helps it really stand out on the page. And, you know, I'm using black and white here, but you could use any colour to do this. You'll notice, also notice um, with competition, I didn't have enough room to write it in there, so I extended it out into the border that's fine you know that border is there to add some interest but if you need to write into it it's not an issue you know it's part of the artwork it adds to it so um, don't worry if you run out of spacing you can write into your borders down the bottom I'm just doing a little bit of writing about that quote basically saying don't worry about other people what they're thinking you rock to tie in with what the quote up the top says and quite often I'll sort of do the quote up the top and then do the writing down the bottom to make it a little bit more personal to me. I'm also going in with the um, pink pen and doing making it sort of look like my key letters by putting the extra dots in. Finally again to add a little bit more interest to the borders I'm going in with some of the paint pens some of the colors I've used and just brightening it up adding some dots and dashes and some different colors it is important with uh, the paint pens to remember while they dry quite quickly um, they still stay wet for a little bit so it is good idea to dry it off before you go and close your book so that is really simple 
magazine collage that's using the Di Reevely collage sheets that you can get from Ranger Inc. The link's in the description box below. Um, however, you could do the exact same thing with magazine images. You're just altering them, them yourself to fit in. And again, check out the Collage Fundamentals playlist on my site to find out more information. Till next time, bye for now.